Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We're jumping back into This Land is My Land. That's right. You guys really enjoyed this game. And, I mean, you supported quite a lot. My first video ever made of this is almost 700,000 views. And, boy, oh, boy. I mean, if you guys really want to see more of this, make sure you hit the like button. This is a major update that occurred. That's the reason why I'm jumping back in. Because I saw the development team really listen to community and they're changing up little things, but not in a bad way. Actually, to improve in the game every single time. Now, this one is a really cool update. There is war parties now, uh, which means we can have up to 16 uh, warriors follow us. Uh, four groups of four warriors. So, that we'll see how that works out. Uh, we can also tell them to do, like manage their equipment, uh, to generally uh, t send the warriors to go and fight. Uh, you can move them forward, move them back, attack. It was very, very cool. I'm liking that. Horse, bond, and more. Yeah, that's right. We have now ability to sneak on a horse. We have ability to now genuinely have a personal mount. Uh, you can also, this is the important part, the saddlebag to carry items of your horse to bring extra loot with you. Now, you guys know, if you play in this game or you watch me play it, I always said, why don't you put a saddlebag on this guy? <laughs> horse. And you know what? Development team, absolutely listening. Very, very cool. There's auto travel and a whole bunch of other things they've done. We're going to learn as we go all the way through this. Also, you can whistle for your horse. Firearms overhaul. That's right. You can bring now not only your bow, but they fixed up the, the ability to overhaul the firearms. There was always like an issue with that. And so the different distinctions on their own unique use. For example, Flintlock will now have more significant damage and hit power. Winchester's receives more ammo in the magazine. So it makes sense. Very, very cool. Uh, they also changed the to new Unity version. Optimization, improved character creation, naming, which we're going to jump into and figure that out. I can't wait to jump in. New map controls and UI and a whole bunch of other things. New settlements on here. Uh, social inventory changes. Animal AI. Uh, they changed that. They reworked a lot of it, so we'll have to check it out. Player health. Uh, they increased the player health at the fight another day, so it's going to help us out a tiny bit. If you guys have seen the fights we get into, it gets pretty uh pretty pretty hairy anyways animation improvement bug fixes a whole bunch of cool things only way for us to know it is for us to get into this game and test it out all right so the start is still the same and uh that's right the warriors are great named and this is where the important part comes in we've always gone and done this and it changed up a little bit of stuff they said in this we'll see if this works out i'll see if i just put game edged I don't, well, oh, look at that. There's actually something underneath that. Uh, each one of these will give you something. Uh, so let's say, um, my God, uh, let's, let's figure out a name here, a cool name. Uh, well, let's try Blue Thunder, right? Let's let's give it a shot. We love Blue Thunder. Let's see if we get something good out of this. Ooh, some SP point, 2,492. And then you pick up a deer and then you can lose it. Wow, this actually changes up everything. Okay, so that's cool. So each one of these, wolf, 2000 SP, for that, for the bear. So you can really mess around with this now. They've made this even, wow, okay, we gotta be careful. That's really bad. You know what? I'm liking Blue Thunder. I don't know. I, it's not the greatest amount of stuff. We're gonna get back in perks and stuff. The beaver, being Canadian, you figure. <laughs> Probably gonna pick the beaver anyways. I don't want this to be too easy and then gonna find a really good name. I probably could search it out. Tons of people putting on there, but this is new, this part. So I wonder if this uh, changes up what people put down in generation of uh, names. Generating of names. Uh, yeah, I wonder. Yeah, uh, you know what? We're gonna stick with a beaver. We're gonna stick with a beaver. We're gonna uh, add a little bit of uh, Kanata in there. There we go. So Blue Thunder it is. Good name. Very good name. Is camp located? All right, let's do this. Oh, normal start, hard, insane. That's right. Ah, uh, boy, you know what? I'm gonna go with this because it's been a while, and uh, definitely, you know, rather close to frontier. Yeah, yeah, it's it really be, it is brutally hard if you get too close to it. Um, oh, but damn, it'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Oh, you know, I'm so debating between this. Refers to grow his strength. No, we're gonna go with that because I believe that's our best tactic is to grow your strength Here we are. We're gonna be rescued This guy should be sleeping. He's gonna regret this 
Oh, oh. wake up call, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna let this roll. Usually I cut this stuff out. <laughs> you got the point. Yeah, I just went down. It went down hard. <laughs> oh, the train's stopping. All right, here we go. It just kind of pops right in here. You escaped. What's quite a rush. That's right. Without a weapon. Good thing. <laughs> Some wood alongside. So I'm curious to see. This looks different already. You need to craft a wooden bow and arrow. All right. It's been a while since I haven't crafted. Whoa, dude. Okay, this might be a little bit of an issue. We start off with some automatic damage. I don't know if camera got caught or something. And uh, these guys probably already think, why did we... Uh, what's wrong with this dude, man? <laughs> All right, no, the pen is good. This is good. Um, it's good. That's good. It's good. Now it's time for us to get ourselves going. I'm going to have to adjust, I think, the mouse sensitivity. All right, adjusting the mouse sensitivity is, like, imperative. 0 0.05. That's what I think I did. Yeah. Anyways, it's all good. It looks like I'm having some problems walking here. Yeah, look, there's some kind of barrier that's right here. I don't know what's going on. You guys see it? A little bit of an issue, too. I mean, they might have done some fixes and stuff and causing some little bit of uh, problems. But it's all good. All right, we got to do a little bit of a tutorial on top. We'll get used to this again. The little tab on this one. If you guys not seen, this is the map. <laughs> it's completely insane. The amount of stuff in this area is absolutely crazy about. Anyways, yeah, this is all places, and I could, yeah, it, it's insane. Anyways, we'll try our best to go and do all that. Uh, we need to craft up some stuff. Uh, we, we need to put, to, of course, and get some ingredients in here. Hold shift to put camp amount. All right, so this is actually a not bad thing for us to do. This is actually with the resources they're supposed to be going to go and get, if not mistaken, this camp right here. That's what we're looking at. Uh, we need to craft this baby up here. So maybe make an object, objective to making this uh, would be kind of good. But I don't think it's letting me do it right away. So we're going to go and grab all that stuff. Anyways, I I, I'm, I, I kind of liked it as an objective. We can actually place it in there. Maybe we can look down here a tiny bit. And uh, yeah, let's just check this out here. Maybe we'll just put our own. Uh, yeah, you see, like that. Learn all the stuff we need to learn. So the SP points when we first started. Uh, you have some SP right here. Skill points. And 817 of them, big buckaroos, uh, that we can spend. Uh, we're going to start off with that bow here, I guess, because we don't have that much of it. But we did get a little bit of extra of everything, so I'm, I'm kind of okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm sticking with my beaver power. Uh, there's tons of stuff here. Holy moly. I, I kind of forgot how much. I think they've added some too. Or they changed the graphics up, I believe. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. All right, so let's jump in. And uh, yeah, the bows and stuff, which we need to uh, learn. So let's, let's, let's look around for some extra stuff it already got dark so i'll show you guys at least the flax is right here i believe we can pick up a oh we'll pick up the tree too that little branch we needed we'll pick up a couple of things now you can get your camp to do that work afterwards i'm gonna be honest with you guys from what i remember spending just a couple of minutes to go and get this oh this is good stuff yeah this is a buck the buck brush oh yes hold number two to usable items and selections all right let's let's hold number two and there you go. So this is a buck brush leaf. Now you see the stamina will go down, but this will give you health. You can make a, a brew of this. This is really cool. So I'll, I'll take that afterwards. Thank you for reminding me about that. Very, very cool tutorial. Getting back used to it. There's some uh, stuff. We can drop this stuff into the camps. We also can transfer stuff to camps uh, once we start expanding back out of it. We have a lot of work to do, though. We have a lot of work. All right. Now let's go and see if we can find just a tiny bit more stuff. And we first start. I've had people mention in comments before. My guy is like a pickup simulator. Well, it's it's just like every survival game, right, out there. But this one's like a strategy survival, which I really enjoy. Uh, I like the the idea of this. You know, it's it's very difficult. I'm not going to tell you guys this is going to be easy. This is going to be a difficult game. Uh, we're going to make a couple of rope. There we go. So you get that rope going. Now you can do an objective. Once you craft it, you can do it. Very very interesting. Okay, so I can create that as an objective now and find more stuff. If I do one arrow, is that going to let me do it too? If I craft one single crappy arrow, is that going to be an objective? Is it going to let me do now because I ran out? Maybe. I don't know. There you go. Yeah, for some reason. I guess once you, you do that, it's an objective. We want to find at least 25 of these suckers. So there you go. I'm happy we can actually see that. And uh, yeah, it should be right here. I've created an objective for myself and start looking around for that stuff. And I'm mistaken. I should be able to see the wood around here now. It did, does that have to be selected? Maybe it has to be selected. 
There we go. All right, so I'm not wrong. The, you just have to look at a compass. I'm not sure why I didn't look at a compass. We gotta be careful. I think. Oh crap! I think I'm hearing wolves, dudes and dudes. That's not what I want to start off with. Especially when you didn't make a bow yet. All right. I don't know where the frick I am either. I'll be honest with you guys. I, I'm picking up stuff. And yeah, top left. Don't worry about it. That's just what I put out. That's not what we need to go and get. Um, if you guys are wondering, it's definitely not. Let's look at our map here. We need to go back here. And uh, that, that's where we need to go. <laughs> ASAP. Let's go back to our town. Uh, away from those wolves that are behind us. They are very vicious, right? Especially if they reworked them. I wonder if they, it's like a little bit harder now. Yeah, let's pick this up with F. There we go. Tons of good stuff. That's telling you where the wood is. So very, very nice. Uh, it's not what we need, though, right? I'll be honest with you guys, it's not what we need. Let's go back to our main one here, uh, which is our objective we really want to get. We can close this off. Just like knock that right out there. All right, perfect. So, yeah, we need to uh, get ourselves some stuff crafted. And once these are highlighted, you'll see a little thing here that tells you that this is what you have right now currently as your objective. You might make yourself a wooden bow. Let's craft that wooden bow up. Uh, definitely needed. And I do have the components. You need some wood and, of course, some flax. Let's craft that. Hopefully a good quality one. Probably isn't. This is a small amount of arrows. Uh, oh, yeah, it's enough to throw. All right, proper resistance. I need more. <laughs> I must look for more young hickory. Yeah, we'll get that going. So, yeah, there we go. So, now I'll tell you about everything about here. You can roll. Uh, you can, of course, shift to sprint. And then uh, you can crouch like this. And you can also switch cameras from side to side. So, very, very important. You're going to want to crouch and hide behind stuff like this. And uh, if I'm mistaken... If you hold down C, yeah, uh, and you'll get more into I think it's X and C. Well, both of them give you exactly the same thing. You can really hold down on here and get, like, ultra sneaky and uh, hide behind stuff. It makes it a lot harder for them to see us. Very, very cool. Hold one to, uh, okay. You know, let's select this. Make that number one. Cool. And that's our weapon selector. Perfect. Can I Can I use it now? Yeah, I don't know. It's 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 for some reason. There you go. And multiple arrows. You can activate the arrows now and switching. Okay, cool. Uh, I keeps on saying he want more flax and stuff. Uh, you can save the game and save. Oh, location includes friendly camps, campfires, and outposts. That's right. Thank you, thank you for that. I appreciate it. So yeah, I'm supposed to be able to select this and get this going here. Yeah, let's right click on it. There you go. Do you guys hear that? There's something behind me. I'm not feeling too confident right now. I'm going to tell you, I already got injured from just jumping into this game. I'm not feeling like uh, super confident that's not licking uh, his chops there, that wolf. I don't think I can take on a pack of wolves. Dude, to do that. I really don't. I, I, I'm saying to myself, this is a horrible idea. And I'm going towards a, uh, yeah, let's, let's avoid that. All right, so we're back to camp, and if you want to save, it's really simple. Right here, just have to hold F, or you can rest and save if you want to. And when you hold down, it just gives you a save feature. Really nice and easy. Now it's time for us to get our warriors to gather flax and other things so they can make themselves their own bows. We're going to drop some stuff inside, by the way. We are. All right, we have to do a tab button, and I'm not mistaken, you click on this, if I remember well, and then send to gather. And there we go. Now we got to find the stuff. Uh, take horses. No, this is excellent. Because sometimes they take the damn horse. Would drive me up the freaking wall, dudes. And dudes. I mean, swear to God, it, like you find a horse is gone. All right, uh, let's see here. We need flax. We need you guys to head out and get some flax. I need that. All right, let's do this. I don't know. Uh, no, I don't want all the warriors. Let's set up two of them. We only have three. Uh, yeah, uh, that equip group. I, I wish I can equip something. Unfortunately, I, I don't believe I have anything to uh, equip with. But the resources, okay. Resistant. All right, perfect. They need to go and do that stuff. We'll leave one in camp. Now you should see these guys actually pop up and disappear and run out there and go get some flax. This is so freaking cool, this game. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, if you got a whole bunch of junk like we do, all right, you can open up here and drop the loot inside if you want to. Uh, yeah, let's put that in there. Sorry, there you go. Put, and I think we do, yeah, shift to get that stuff in there if you want to. We'll shift that baby in there because we'll find more as we go through. We're just going to give them as much as possible so they can get their butts in gear. Only thing I'm not giving is my butt brush. I, I'm not going to bother with that. Again, dropping my weight as far as I possibly can right here uh, so we can keep ourselves nice and uh, well, nice and easy for us to walk. We have 20 arrows currently, uh, which is pretty good.
for start, but then the arrows are really shite. But I'm not out there to go and attack anybody. I just want to protect myself against animals. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and craft ourselves a couple more of these shite arrows, uh, which I want to get these things, but again, we need to get, you know, Hunter's bow. Access. It tells us which bows you can work with. We need to increase our bow before we can do that. So each one of these here has Hunter bow, Ancestor bow, of course. That one, I think, I'm mistaken, is for people who paid for the game prior when it was actually being built. So founders themselves. So we have different bows here we can uh, create or make ourselves. We have to learn them as we go through it. First thing first, we start off with the rustic wooden bow. It'll keep us going. Let's make some of these arrows. Let's craft these babies up. It costs five a pop, but we're going to need quite a few just in case, all right? You guys can get your own wood. Don't don't get mad at me. I'm sorry, dude. I apologize. Uh, maybe we'll get the other guy to go and gather some of that stuff. This guy is supposed to be going to gather some, some, some loot here. I'm not sure why they're not out and about doing that. I did give him some, some orders, but I don't know. Maybe they decide it's just not important. Maybe they saw a flax I had. <laughs> it's possible. Okay, um, let's send to gather again. Maybe I didn't do it properly. There's one guy out there. So, yeah, one guy left to go and get. So, I want you to get some wood. You're going to need that. Gather that, buddy. So, we only have one guy. Perfect. And this should send him out and doing all the work. So, we have three people doing some work. And hopefully, we'll get more warriors as we go through it. Now, our big problem right now is going to be heading out to this one. This guy's really cool. This guy's actually closer, isn't he? Yeah, this guy's closer to us. Uh, there's also a fire right up here, which, like I mentioned, uh, we can expand back out. A little bit, as so we can see a little more out there. And I think we're going to make the run for that. Or can we make a buck brush before I go? Because I need some buck brush. Uh, buck brush tea, there we go. Let's craft that. I guess we'll see create objective after we've made enough of this stuff, right? There we go. That's beautiful. So we want to look for some more buck brush. That's going to be stunning. We need that. And right, we have one leaf on us right now. So buck brush tea right here. Does weigh a little bit. Uh, but very, very nice. And like I mentioned, the 55 health. Uh, if you make the tea itself so very good little drink for us to have and we're gonna do we're gonna put that number two and uh, Oh, I think I just ate that Okay, yeah, you want I ate I ate it so I reduced my stamina <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay. Um, yeah, let's not waste too much time gathering these guys are gonna be gathering some stuff Let, Let's go and do some work here Let's go and do some work. It's time for us to open up a little bit of the area So we find these all the way through the maps. We also find these little places that are kind of like a desolate or some a wagon on the side of the road. You can find some treasure inside. Very, very cool. This one I don't think has any kind of uh, stuff in here. Uh, but you'll find these little extras on there. So with this, now you can save. And if I'm not mistaken, it'll open up a tiny bit more of the area for us. Very, very important and very helpful. There's one more over there too. We could take a horse to go and do this. Uh, and I don't oh, think I travel while you're close enough to from the yeah, That's right. As long as we're not too close. So let's go and take out that horse, and uh, we'll go and uh, check out that camp up there. So that's a logging camp, which helps out for big, like the big bases themselves. So yeah, we have to be careful. You gotta take those guys out. They they really do help them. You know, look at our stamina, it's just tanking. Definitely one thing I'd like to invest in. All right, hold, open gate. Oh man, they're both beautiful horses. Uh, but I'll go with the uh, black horse here. Loving that, looks beautiful. Black and gray, I guess. Love the handprint on that. Looks stunning. All right, I was just looking around to see whether or not that we can do anything with a horse, but I couldn't find anything. But I did stumble on this war paint. That looks freaking mm -hmm. awesome, by the way. If you guys are into that, I think it looks stunning. I'm loving the looks of this. You can also have no uh, war paint if you don't want any. You can also put your body. It looks like, uh, yeah, you can change up the body if the horse didn't uh, just steal up the whole moment. I'm not sure if we can paint our own horse. Not positive about that. Uh, store too, so you can learn a whole bunch of different ones, and you also have your hair too if you want to. Uh, very, very nice. I like that. Um, we'll go with uh, a little bit of dark feathers in that one. Beautiful. Okay, so let's do what they were trying to tell me to do up top before we head out to that camp. We got to do it this episode. We got tested out. Um, all right, so they want me to click on here, and I'm mistaken, and then click on orders, and orders uh, set right here, and we want to do add order. Sorry. Add order is going to be the one we want to do. So wooden arrows. Uh, we can also do wooden bow. I'm going to want uh, at least, uh, oh, let's say uh, 10 of these. That should be good. need you to make 10 of those. Any of these uh, tame horses uh, can be mine. Which one shall I choose? All right. Well, that's the one I chose already. So what? Hold Z to bond with this one. 
Oh, dudes and dudettes, this is friggin' amazing. Holy moly. Okay, no, I want to keep the... Oh, wait, you can change his color? That's just freaking rat. Oh, that, that's really nice. That is friggin' nice. Can I, can I rotate this around? Oh, oh that's the speed. <laughs> you went a little quicker than I thought. Okay, I'm, I'm liking this one quite a bit. And a little bit, yeah, a little black. That's stunning for me. I'm liking that quite a bit here. Uh, some saddles bags. This is great. I don't know how we access that. We'll have to do it. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that one's even nicer. Yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna stick with this one. This one looks really cool for me. Yeah, I'm. I'm driving to that one. That's all good. And uh, we got paint on here if you want to. And I definitely like the red. You guys know the red and black is my thing. So we're gonna stick with the red. Can I confirm this? We gotta enter the name for the horse. We are Blue Thunder. Should I call him Scott? I'm just joking. <laughs> Let's call him, uh, I don't know, Storm. How about that? I like Storm. Oh, well, let's, 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 let's do it properly without the cap locks going off here. Storm. Storm is it. I like it. Please tell me I can use this. Perfect. Improved speed. All right. I'll take it. All right, skills. Uh, open up the selector. You know, several uh, different types of skills. Some invoked with a G. Hold G. All right. Oh, that's right. Okay, that's uh, the stuff we can do, like throw rocks and howl and stuff. Dialogue with the chiefs, absolutely. Yeah, we, we we can increase a little bit of our area, too. So this is our mount. It's going to show up with that icon right there. It's also going to be on the same thing on top. No mistake, if we walk too far away from it, it should pop up. This is our mount. Now, how we ask to get the saddlebag? Hold Z for the saddlebag, is that it? Yes. So the saddlebag holds up to 45. Really? Dude, dude that's freaking beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. I'm I'm all in for that. All right, Storm. Let's do this. Is, is there something else? Find an old cap and take leftover items. All right, we, we got to find that. Let, let's listen to what they're trying to tell me to do here. You know, probably the best. It's right over here. Let's travel there. And, yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time. We can fast travel, too. As long as you're not in trouble with anything. Uh, where is it? Uh, there's my pointer. By the way, animals can attack you during this. So you got to be very, very careful what you're doing. Uh, they can destroy. I'm not sure if they can kill a horse or not. I've, well, it's not true. I've actually fallen off and had damage on a horse because I was running a little too fast. Yeah, you got to be careful. I'm not sure if they adjusted that. There's a cap right here. I see it. I think that's what I was talking to you guys about before. Sometimes you can find these abandoned stuff on the side of the road. Oh, yeah. Blue Thunder. Damn, the massacre. The gang itself. Yep. Well, you know what? We're, we're going to take advantage of this. And uh, take the loot. Damn, that's a lot of blood. That is a freaking little blood. What do we get? A sinew back bow. Dude, do that. That is... Why did I make another bow for? All right, medium arrows. Very nice. Again, all these arrows here, as you can see... Can only be used with certain bows and stuff. Very nice. We've got some gunpowder. Some fireweed. What the hell is that, anyways? I think it's just, uh, yeah, 120 health over it. Wow, that's stunning. I got to make some fireweed, man. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, all right, some big spiked traps. These are really nice. You can put them out. And, uh, you know, since the guys fall in there, they kind of get uh, damaged heavily, if not killed. Bush. Oh, hideout. Very nice. And we also got some sound bait. That, that like to you can submit a little loud sound for 30 seconds. Let's take all that. Loving that. That is a nice find. We're definitely heavy. Now, the old days, we used to not be able to go back on our mount if we're too heavy. Yeah, that's right. So I think they're doing the same thing. So let's, let's press Z here. And we're going to try and put some stuff in there now that he can carry some weight. I'm liking that. Bond levels. I don't know how you increase the bond of taking care of them. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. Oh, hey, bait. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. Uh, so, yeah, so we need some bait. We're going to invest in that, too. That's going to be something we have to look for. Okay. Uh, that we can drop in there and keep those. And I think I'm okay on uh, weight now, right? Yeah, I'm under. Let's mount this sucker. We're going to do a quick drop off. I'm going to keep that mega bow uh, because I think it's going to be a whole lot better since we're not really out there for attacking. I'm going to want to head back here really quick. Oh, 
how do you make the hay bale? That's going to be a pain in the butt, isn't it? It really is. All right. Well, hold on. Stop for a second, horsey. I just want to make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah, I am going the right way. All right. I think there's an animal there. I'm pretty sure I saw one. I'm not messing around. Not sure why the town's not showing up on this. Uh, it is what it is, though. Sorry, dude. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm so freaking sorry, dude. That was rude. Well, you in fire? Woo. That's a little embarrassing. Welcome back to our place. Let me just uh, take you out here. All right, take all. Take all and take all. I'm just going to take these out. Or I don't need them right now. Could be useful for next camp. We uh, Later on, we can hit up. Want. I'm, hopefully, we can use them. Let's put, 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 and yeah, put that baby in there. I think a shift, this works out good. We'll put the sound bait in there. We'll put the extra resource of wood we picked up for no apparent reason. And uh, yeah, that's a lot of arrows here. So this one works for a sinew bow. Back bow. This one works for a sinew bow too. These are definitely better arrows for us to throw in there. So we can do is just drop you in there. Drop you in there. And uh, sound bait. Perfect. Very nice. Interrogate the bastards. Interrogate the person that you need to approach him and detect him. Uh, capture. Yeah, pressing F. Right, cool. All right, we should be approaching a camp pretty, uh, pretty good. It's actually 119, 115. We want to want to drop off a horse. Not get too close for him to see us. Yeah, they're right there. I see the fire coming out of the chimney. Okay, Let, let's leave our horse behind for now. We're gonna go into crouch mode. All right, interrogate. Left uh, killing. Left. That's right. Is not uh, only the way to deal with people. Uh, interrogate. Definitely something we want to be careful. So we got the left click we can hit up with. Uh, where we want to uh, do a little interrogation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there we go. Did I select this? There we go. That's our main one now. I don't want to kill everybody. What I want to do is capture these sons of beeswax. I'm not seeing too much movement. It may be just a beginner one. Okay, there's a guy up there. I don't know if you see him right down there. Now, we can make these things called stun arrows. An arrow stunning. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Bump, 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 bump. I'm here all week. Uh, but no, we need to uh, We need to get those. Uh, they knock out the guys for a while. Not for a whole lot, but, you know, under a minute, I'm not mistaken. There's a guy right there. I'm right in the open with this moon. I don't sure think he sees us. I'm trying to stay near that bush. Make our way through it. We're going to try to interrogate this son of the beeswax. Now, there might be some other guys in here sleeping. Want to be very, very... Yeah, there's another guy right there. Kind of dangerous, actually, what I'm doing. That guy's peeing. I can tell you everything. You're probably looking for this. Go check it. Uh, your life. Say, uh, say a prayer. We're going to speak with a white tongue of snake. Wow, okay. Please leave me alone. Okay. There's no... We can't re-interrogate him, I guess. We can just stun him. We can take his body, though. That guy's still pee, man. He, he got a lot on him. All right, uh, we can intimidate uh, again, or we can just pick him up. I just want to drag his ass. Let's, let's do this quick. Oh, God, I hope he didn't see me. He saw me. Just don't start shooting. Okay, we're back. We're back here. He shouldn't have seen it anymore. We're going to drop him. And then we can search him too. So you can do still intimidate and then search him. Let's do a little. Oh, oh crap, dude. That, I'm so sorry. All right. I think I killed him. I'm pretty sure I just, I just killed. Yeah, I think I killed him. I didn't mean to do that, by the way. All right. Well, let's try and do is bring these guys right over here. I need this dude. Yeah, he's walking where I want him to walk. Okay, crouch down. 
If you go to change the camera sides. He doesn't know. We're here yet. If he continues walking, we should get him. He's still doing his little interrogation. Maybe he's going to go for a bathroom. I don't know. Grab him. I can be useful. <laughs> I can tell you everything. Really? Tell me. Here, go and take. That's all I have. Okay, so I can be in use for you. Please leave me alone. All right, so maybe you got some information on him. Okay, let's loot him. Take all. And then we're going to interrogate him. Intimidate him, sorry. Make sure he runs away. So we're not trying to kill him like I did last time. You've got to hold it down now. You can also increase the skill. It goes a whole lot faster. Everything goes a whole lot faster. Uh, these are all skills. I'm not sure why I'm grabbing his crotch, but we're putting some kind of powder on him, if not mistaken. That makes him a little whacked out. A little LSD maneuver. He's going to run around and do his stuff. Uh, the, the guy that's supposed to be in his camp, where is he? All right, yeah, this is the one here. Now, if you press E, hold down, I could have done, like, whistles. I can call my horse now. Very nice. Okay, so I don't know. He's somewhere in here. Now, this is all loot and stuff. I'll call my horse in a bit. There's some, oh, there's a guy in here, dude. Shite. I don't know where he's at. Guy sitting down right there. I don't know if I can get him while he's sleeping on a chair. Yeah, he's sleeping. Please Check don't him. kill me. Here, go and take. That's all I have. I told you what I know. Okay, we'll stun. So intimidation of Brad Patterson. All right. Uh, what does the Joshua Honeycomb? Okay, should I kill or intimidate? Decision, a decision. I don't know. I mean, at this point, find intimidation in front of Fort Diaz. It's probably the best bet is to intimidate these sons of beeswax and grabbing all loot. I'd want to get bad karma. Really don't. Oh, I forgot to loot his ass. Hold the cancel. Oh, I can cancel it. Nice, good. All right, we'll, we'll take all that crap. Tonight. Now I'll intimidate you and get you out of here. So the whole point of this, they want us to intimidate, by the way, on top left. Again, keeping that karma good. Put that little LSD stuff. I'm not exactly sure what he's using, to tell you the truth. If you guys know, you can uh, head out and tell me that. It would be very, very cool. Now, I'll just double check to see if the rest of the camp this is very nice, by the way. There's tons of loot here. Come on, dude. Booga boo. Go, go. Come on, dude. Right to that wall. That's fantastic. All right. Let's open up that door. I'll get out of the crouch. I think... I think everybody's gone now. I'm super heavy, by the way. So we just call back our horse. I press G now. Our horse should be coming. Yeah, that's so cool. Nice job, devs. Nice job. Yeah, I think we're good. Is this, like, can I make hay bales of that? Tell me we can go up here and make some hay bales. There's already hay here. All right, devs, that's something they should let us do. Maybe he can, and I just don't realize it. I don't know. The horse is already here. <laughs> I'm gonna call him like six feet more. Try not to go through the wall, dude. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna do is we're gonna actually I'm not gonna mount you. I'm gonna go and put some stuff inside. Now these are not really worth anything. These are crap. Damage one times one twenty nine. These are all shit. Is now all flintlock crap. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why he has this for when he has this crap. I'm not even sure if this is actually worth anything to put in here. This is actually very low and low quality. It says on the top. You guys see on the top right of the gun, like right on top of here, it's in the yellow. So low quality. It ain't really worth it. I'm going to take that back and throw it into a crate. We're going to search out for some better stuff. Also, drop off that ammo. Yeah, let's loot this up. Yeah, okay, put this all back. This is crap, crap, crap. We don't need you. We don't need you. We don't need you. Yeah, that's just, that's just garbage, garbage, garbage. All right, uh, that is pretty good. We'll take the cloth, and we'll take the arrows. Uh, uh, arrows, arrow. Oh, if you get gunpowder, it's just such a cool thing. It still does it. Yeah, so you add two gunpowder to this. The next time someone comes here and tries to... Uh, to take over the base if they do, and you can uh, explode their butts. It's pretty funny. That loot is empty. 
There should be some more loot around here. I did interrogate everybody, so I see the question mark in there. I'm just going to loot this up to you. Yeah, I'll take that back to the camp. Uh, glue, I don't know what the frick, dude. I'll take it back just because we can. Is both crates considered one? I'm just curious. Yeah, it's considered one. So very, oops, if we walked around that game, I should make it a whole lot easier. Are you still in here, dude? Wow, you're really tripping. Eh? You're tripping, dude. <laughs> He's tripping so badly. Okay, and uh, yeah, let's let's loot this up. So we got some good stuff. I'm not sure if we need a boiling can pan or not. We definitely don't need this. Sinew. Maybe we'll take this back to the camp. I don't know. We'll see how much weight we have to bring back some loot, right? A wrench. I mean, it, it could be useful. I don't think it's useful for us right now in the camp. We don't have any use for that pipe wrench, but it's, you know, never know. Oh, it's for the door. I thought it would be for a furnace. There you go. Turn off. Add gunpowder to this one. One time gunpowder for it to explode and kill them. I'm not sure if you get karma hit for that. Are you still tripping with that dude? Seriously. Empty. So, yeah, we might just bring back the other guns, too. I don't know. Maybe our guys will use them in a fight. I'm not sure if it's really worth it, but, yeah. Yeah, it's, it is what it is. Let's just take back everything. It's going to be heavy as frig, for sure. And we're just going to put them back in a horse. This is so cool. I mean, again, I can't tell you how much this is freaking awesome, but this is, like, so freaking nice uh, for us to be able to put this, all this stuff in here. Trip balls, push shift, make that faster. Okay, I think we can just ride you. Yeah, we can ride you. Yeah, what we're going to do is end up dropping up back at our base, which is just up here. Where's the next one? Open this up here. I want to head back here. And that is to the right here. So we're going to drop this off. I think it's pretty good at first day. We got to see the mechanics of this game. We got to see what it's all about to go and take care of that. There's still a lot of work for us to do. We can hit up other camps again. I want to hit the logging camps and take care of that. The other guy's there. He's, he's flipping out. He's going he's gonna to make his way sooner or later. I can guarantee you that. We're going to drop off the loot here. And again, if you guys want to see more of this, you hit the like button and get in comp fields. I would love to bring back, and of course, bring back the series and you know bring as much as possible. I think it looks really cool, all the add-ons. I'm loving what I'm seeing. Definitely a development team showing up and uh, you know adding little things that we really needed. Now, it's been a while since I've done one, but I'm, I'm really, I'm very impressed right now. Also, we have to go get prisoners too. We'll find prison camps. Uh, which will then add more uh, warriors to our to our area, which is going to be awesome. Yeah, there's a max for each one. We can also uh, upgrade these. If you haven't seen it too, there's a playlist down below. You can go and check it out. Uh, there'll be tons of goodies in there. For now, we're just going to put in uh, the stuff we're not going to need, like the bow. And uh, I don't know, iron arrows, an ancestor bow and a bow. So, I mean, they can keep that one. There's not a whole lot in there. I'm not using that stuff. We'll put the uh, bullets and stuff. Not a big uh, on that, that's for sure. Sumac and these things here. I think we can sell those to the traders once we find them. Uh, but for now, we'll just drop these in here. Uh, definitely see you coming in handy afterwards. I'm liking this. This is very, very cool. We sold some on our horse, too, which will drag, and uh, hopefully the guys can use. Oh, can I do this from here? Oh, look at that before we go. Sneak past enemies. Oh, that's so cool. Look, switch sides. Oh, my God. <laughs> Auto travel cap locks. All right, let's see. To a point where we click it. Are you kidding me? Okay, dudes and dads, this is freaking awesome. They've done a great job. Now, the cool thing about this game, by the way, also, you don't have to eat. <laughs> if you guys are wondering, you have nothing to worry about. No eating needed in this one. But yeah, very, very cool game. I'm loving it. And I'd love to, again, bring more to you guys. So if you guys are enjoying this, take time, hit the like button, get in calm fields. And, of course, uh, tell me you want to see more. I would love to bring it to you. And, again, uh, if you're brand new, go ahead and subscribe. Go and check out all the fine, uh, fine uh, videos we have up. And come and join us on Discord, too, or on Twitter. All links are in the description field. Thank you so much for being here. You guys are absolutely the best. This is Game Edge. We'll catch you guys on the flip side.